we are back. It's let's, a journey further in Pyre. Yeah, let's climb up Mount it's Mount so El Eladiel. And listen to more do of that guy and the tree man. And fucking the thing and the uh, la 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 la. Valfred. Valfred Sandalwood. So, oh, speaking shit. of tongue tie. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's. Wow. Mount Eladiel. We're getting some actual shit happening here. That is we literally are. a mask and a, and a rights uh, uniform type deal. Getting some more story stuff. Here before you lies Mount Eladiel. Stretch far beyond uh, your line of sight. Somewhere upon this mountain lies the only place from which you can escape from the downside. Your champions gather round again before Valfried, uh, who stands tall as ever. Uh, he might be growing. Whether from the cold air or the subject now at hand, you sense a tension in the air. Not like Valfred doesn't ever give fucking tension. Yeah. Now then, you all have questions, no? I've done a lot of talking, so go on and ask away. But there is only silence. One question stands out in your mind, which you refrain from asking yet. If only one of you is to get free, or go free at first, who shall it be? Come on now, don't be shy. Who's first? Questions? Why us? Why you indeed, madame? That I can explain. You seeing the sword you stand against as adversaries in the rights? What is it that they want to do, you suppose? Orgy. Maybe. They <laughs> want their freedom back, of course. And freedom orgies. to orgy. Freedom to orgies. They'll settle for it on the Commonwealth's own terms. They'll gain their freedom, some cushy new responsibilities. Hmm. Perhaps then they'll have a hand in sending still more exiles here to join us. What? Oh, they do they exile people not just based off of fucking criminal records and shit? Maybe. The Commonwealth rose from the ashes of a fallen empire thanks to the efforts of the first exiles who escaped this place via the rites. It is the Commonwealth's first and proudest tradition to honor those who have lived to redeem their transgressions. They have a certain wisdom, do they not? Mm. But uh, as for you... I have been uh, looking for a certain set of dispositions for a particular set of skills. <laughs> yeah. All I need was for somebody appropriate to show up and to listen. Well, we've done little listening. So I planted many little eyes and ears throughout this land. Oh, fuck. Whispering hints of this, absurd as it may sound, took someone with a certain faith and creativity to go for it. So has Valfred been fucking behind all the rights this entire time? I don't think so. That doesn't sound... That someone proved to be Edwin over there. He was tasked with seeking two trustworthy allies. An old buried wagon and a reader. Holy shit. He was invited to bring others for the ride, all different sorts, gather enough help, and he and his friends could be free. Holy shit, we have a fucking double agent in our midst. Long story... But, you know, much of the rest. So then, why you? Because I've reason to believe you're not the sort to play right back into the Commonwealth's old hand. Mm. The rights, as you've seen, are quite exclusive. You are imposters in this little party. You could be the ones to break it up. Now then, more questions. What the fuck are you talking about, Valfrey? So I think what he's hinting at is he hasn't told Hedwin the whole story. He just found Hedwin. Yeah. And, and tasked and made him, him with creating and a team. He said, hey, you can be free. Go ahead and make a team. Yeah. I don't think Hedwin was aware and I'll guide you the rest. Yeah. of everything that Volfred had to say. He was very um, coy. That makes sense. Uh, he, this guy doesn't seem like he lets off much. No, he doesn't seem that way at all. <clears throat> Volfred's explanations are a lot to take in, though you feel compelled to absorb as much, uh, much of what he is willing to tell you at this point. He prompts for further uh, questions when Jadario raises her voice again. Fuck you! Hold on. You mistook my meaning. I understand your plan. Still, I wish to know why us? Why are we among all the others chosen for this liberation rite? Oh! <gasps> huh. I see. Well, but that is a simple. Really, madam? Really? That is a simple? That is simple. Really. Oh, madam. that is simple. Really, madam? There's no A in there. You are chosen. You are qualified, I should say, because, as the expression goes, tis what the scribes ordain. Is that how the expression goes? So, in this case, the expression is quite literally true. 
Oh, is he a scribe? When the eight created the rites, each one of them anointed certain other exiles to participate on their behalf. Exiles who showed some promise of redemption. Mm. The triumph rates they formed have stood the test of time, replenishing their numbers as their individuals moved on or passed on. You've met them as they are today, the accusers, the withdrawn, so on and so forth. The eight scribes also formed a special group against which all others would be judged. Mm. That group they call what? the Nightwings. Bullshit. Call them bullshit. You bear their books, wear their masks and raiments. You need but show up to the right, you see. The others erstwhile jockey for a position, for a chance to take you on. So we're the judges for them to actually receive redemption, and we've been beating the shit out of them to the point where none of them can be redeemed? Interesting. Yeah, well, what if we don't? What if we don't show up? Yeah, fucking tree! <laughs> then, <laughs> then you would deny yourself a chance at freedom and deny it also to your adversaries. What is freedom if we're playing puppets to you the entire time, Valfrey? Victory means nothing in a common right then. Participation is all that matters. Not so, madam. Only the enlightened may regain their freedom. While failure can be an excellent teacher, the scribes do favor the victor. I so, know. you see, those who do not conduct the rites or do not prevail in them sufficiently, they may find themselves barred from the liberation rites, but these are technicalities. The Nightwings disbanded years ago. Since then, no one has gone free. Yet, still the triumvirates pressed on with fleeting hope that one day you'd be back. So literally, you are the gatekeepers to, to the Commonwealth. It seems that way. It's been a heavy price to pay in all of this. Now, if you'll excuse me, we'll talk again some other time. Perhaps in five minutes before we get to actually have a fucking fight? Apparently. <clears throat> some murmur to themselves about all this as Walfred takes his leave. Others reconnoitre? Re re recon reconnoiter? Uh, reconnoiter? I guess reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. Uh, that sounds right. Pathways leading up the mountain and present you uh, with some options. That's an English word that most people understand. Reconnoiter? Reconnoiter? Yeah. It's common. Like, it's, it's like when I you... I connoitered you to go to the Connoiterville. I pre-connoitered and my wife was sad. Yeah. <laughs> Emperor's fall. Emperor's ascent. Let's go. Do we the go for fall. the fall? Or the we go for the fall. I like how it goes left to go right, just like in cars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look it. There's that Volfer. Oh shit! Yeah. Volfer. No, that's that's Headwind, and that's uh, this is the land of the Nightwings. But notice how it has that scribe on there. It has kind of that head face. You think Volfred might be the one of the original Nightwings? Because he has that shape of the face. I don't, I don't Maybe know. like the masks were based off him and his people. Oh, like the wood people? Yeah. Maybe. That is there is kind of a correlation between the the, the visuals. Yeah. Pamatha, what do you want? I shall be joining you. You're Pamatha, right? Oh, I'm Pamatha. What? Now I get two chaperones, but sure, I'm game. Whatever you wingless are into. That's right. Silent little bird, and fetch those trinkets and be done. You were Tamatha. Yes. My, so full of bitterness. You really ought to make the most of these last precious moments that we share. And you ought to not mince your words. I only mince mate, bitch. Oh, please. We all know you're going to be the first one out of here. So Actually, why... yeah, I was probably going to send her first. <laughs> they never use her. So why not quit your constant frowning for a change? <laughs> I? The first one out of here? Actually, yeah, you're, you're probably the first one out of here. You're getting out of here, Jody. Fuck off. Of course, it's plain the others pity you. You've been, oh fuck, what a burn. You've been here longer than the rest of us by far. Besides, maybe that Volfrid, though he seems plenty happy here, making his speeches. How dare you presume? Nothing is decided as of yet. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Though if by some coincidence you do end up selected for the honor, I just want you to know something. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, 
do hope we shall prevail on your behalf. Fuck, Pamitha is catty as shit for a bird. I almost wonder if she's <laughs> being catty, though. She she's being have, catty on She purpose. didn't have the problem with Jody that Jody had with Pam. Yeah. <clears throat> because that way you shall be free. She's probably fleeting and, and like yeah. a bird. She's very like, haha, I get to play. Because that way you shall be free, of me at least. And I, in turn, shan't have to suffer any longer your hideous attitude towards me or anything. Everything. At that, you intervene. Jadariel's eyes burn with fury. But then she calms herself. She did start it. Yeah, she, she just did. see you at the wagon. Reader. Jody's got just about as bad attitude as Sandra does. Pam with the scoffs at Jodariel storms as Jodariel storms up. Uh, ah, fuck. Storms off. Uh, I swear that one. Well, moving on. There's something sparkling down here. I'll be right back. Grab it! She swoops out of sight. Poop, 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 leaving you alone there on the mountain. The reader or Pam with the soon returns with something that long that lay long forgotten on the rocks below. You found a star splinter! Uh, when preparing to fling the orb, the bear's charge up speed increases. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. So it's 40% faster to fling the orb. I don't know if you really utilize that, though. No, but it's still a nice thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can Sir sell it. Gillum or Hedwin. Oh. Let's go with Hedwin. We like Hedwin. We don't quite like Gilman. Gil Gillum? Gilman. I don't know if choosing the path really changes anything too much. The. I think Combat one can maybe. Same. I think you, one can maybe get like a bonus or something. Yeah, different bonuses, but other than that, it doesn't seem to have too much um, impact on what goes on. Yeah, you you and Hedwin do stuff. Well, my friend, uh, no sign of howlers, as Jody would say. No sign of anything at all. Jody has her eyes closed. You sense something is troubling him. What's the matter, bitch? Oh, yeah, that it's uh, it's just. I've been giving lots of thought of to everything that Wolfred told us. In a couple of days, one of us may be gone, just all of a sudden. I don't know if it's all or, of a sudden. I don't mean to. I don't mean to put it that way. One of us could go free. We earn our way back one by one, as he said. I I want you to know something. The others and I, we talked it over, and when the time comes, we want you to decide. Oh, okay. decide who gets to go, if anyone. This might all be part of Wolfred's plan, but we got here thanks to you. And even though I'm worrying right now about us splitting up, I guess if Wolfred has his way, all of us will meet up on the other side. The reader's like, I pick me, bitches! And just floats off into the Woo! He's like, suck it, fingers! Just flipping the bird left It's right like that left Mario right. thing where he ditches Yoshi. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, from what is that, uh, uh, animation domination? Animation domination. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that fucking video was hilarious. And, uh, won't that be the day we can see you flying off on your Yoshi as it <laughs> flutters into the sparkling ravine? I uh, mean, worst case scenario, we keep failing in the rights and be stuck down here together just like this we haven't failed any of the rights other than sandra and we're the night wings yeah i mean come on the two of you walk on in silence for a time when at last you return to the wagon hedwin turns to you again thanks for the company i think i'm better now yeah, 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 yeah. hedwin feels more prepared for the next right you better use his ass I mean, always do. Hope likewise for the best. Oh boy. Um, you do know then you're getting very close to probably, I'm assuming once you hit five, yeah, four. you have to... Uh, I meant to hit four with him and then five. But what I'm saying, once you hit five, he probably ascends probably? to the Commonwealth. I don't know if that's how it works, honestly. I, I don't know. I think you get to choose who gets to go. Maybe, yeah. Well then, ch choose choose some shitty players that you don't ever use. I'm pretty tempted. I'm liking the entire cast though. It's gonna be unfortunate to send <clears throat> different members away, but I think we're gonna have to do that next time. Yeah, next time, guys. Beep bop boop. While it is more visual novel than gameplay, the story is intriguing. The story is intriguing enough. It's kind of convoluted. Yeah. And it is a little long in the tooth. It is intriguing enough to keep our attention and the characters. Are very unique. The characters I like all, all the characters. The characters are great. Yeah. Something that uh, Supergiant Games has always done.